everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a video all about the best sellers in the Dior perfume range and some alternatives that are a bit similar which you could be getting instead of them for a much lower price. If you've been watching me for a while you'll know that I'm a huge fan of Dior. I love the brand, not just perfume, I love their clothes, their bags, everything and this Dior original Cherie is my all-time OG favorite perfume discontinued and I do still love the Miss Dior range so I do love it but I do also recognize that they're incredibly expensive even the eau de toilettes are so much money like 90 pounds and over 100 for the eau de parfums and they're just getting so expensive now so I thought there are some that are quite similar but are way cheaper so I'm going to take you through which ones I think you could get instead. If you're new here then welcome we are all about perfumes here. I have hundreds of other videos, so do check them all out. And if you're a regular who hasn't subscribed yet, then do hit that subscribe button and show your support and join our little community of perfume lovers here. And as always, I'll leave links down below to where you can get these in the UK, US, Canada, Australia. So let's get into it. So let's start with the Miss Dior range. So there's loads of different Miss Dior's, right? So let's start with the Miss Dior Eau de Parfum which is a patchouli rose. And then you have the absolutely blooming Miss Dior Eau de Parfum, which has some fruitier notes in when it has that signature rose smell. Now for me, a nice alternative to these, which is um, much cheaper, is the YSL Mon Paris range. So their Eau de Parfum is patchouli and rose and strawberry so very similar especially to the um absolutely blooming one you get that same feminine pretty rosy scent but the patchouli helps it last i find that mon Paris definitely outlasts miss dior now um mon Paris is pretty good for lasting it's a pretty strong perfume the mon Paris floral version would be good alternative for the eau de toilette from miss dior which has more peony and lighter notes in the um, Mon Paris floral one has peach in and peony, so it's kind of that similar vibe. And I def yeah, definitely think Mon Paris are better for lasting than Miss Dior's, and they're about £30 cheaper. And then for Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet, which is all about that fresh peony, it's really lovely. I definitely would say that Versace Bright Crystal would be a good dupe. Again, this is all about the perfume, this is all about the peony. It really has that fresh peony smell, very similar, has some citrus notes in it as well. So this is a much more affordable alternative. You can get these, even the full size for like 30 or 40 pounds or something, maybe less. And the, the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet, you're talking, you know, double that. So, the and it's cool bottle. I think there are lots of alternatives to Miss Dior. There is of course the new Miss Dior Rose and Roses that came out, uh, I think it was this year, which is just all about the roses, super rosy. If you're looking for a rose perfume, I'd recommend the Ellie Saab Rose Couture. It's much better for lasting than this Rose and Roses, which didn't last very long, I'm afraid, even though it's very expensive. The Ellie Saab Rose Couture you can get for probably less than half price of this and it lasts much better and the Ellie Saab perfumes are so classy and beautiful, they're a lovely smell um, so definitely a better rose perfume than this I say. So next we have the Poison range, so Dior Poison is that heavy balsamic incense smell so something kind of similar would be Guerlain's Shalimar again you've got that woody balsamic notes in it but it tends to be on discount you tend to be able to find this cheaper I'll try and find you at good price in the links down below but if you like your poison then try Shalimar or you could layer it with the body products and things because it will be cheaper even though it's from a really good brand like Guerlain and then for Hypnotic Poison which is all about the vanilla 
color, heavy vanilla. I think that it's very similar to Dolce & Gabbana's The One, which is all about the vanilla as well. It also has some peach in there, um, which makes it a little bit more fruity than Hypnotic Poison. And it's not as intense and strong as Hypnotic Poison. Hypnotic Poison is one of the strongest perfumes out there, in my opinion. Dolce & Gabbana The One is more everyday. It's not so intense, but it is still a strong perfume. You can really smell it on people. But again, it's been out for a long time, so you can usually get this really discounted, whereas getting Hypnotic Poison or any of the Dior range discounted is very difficult. So Pure Poison, which is all about the jasmine, the white florals, I think it, why not just go for Alien from Thierry Muggler, which again is all about the jasmine, but is insane for lasting, has insane projection, and is probably cheaper, you can often get it on offer. If you find Alien Eau de Parfum too intense, try the Eau de Toilette version or one of like the summer flankers, you still get that white floral jasmine intenseness, but probably at a better price than you'll be able to get Pure Poison. And then J'adore is that white floral, has some lily of the valley in, kind of lily to me. I think that a really good alternative is Cartier Boisier Voile, um, which is, I think, an even nicer bottle, a classier bottle, a classy brand, Cartier. This one is so underrated, you hardly see it anywhere, but it's a beautiful lily, um, very, very classic, but just like smelling a bouquet of lilies. So a nice, something a bit different to Jador, not as popular as Jador, you're not gonna find everyone else wearing it. And again, you can usually get it discounted because it's been out for about 10 years. And then lastly, we have Dior Joy, their new release, their new range. So Dior Joy is like a much lighter version of J'adore. It has that jasmine and citrus vibes in. It also has a bit of muskiness in. And the Eau de Parfum is very light. The intense one is definitely better. Um, it's better for lasting. But it is rather generic fragrance. So really for this... If you want something powdery, try Narciso Rodriguez. It's very everyday, fresh, powdery. If you are looking for something clean, white floral, you guys know I love Ellie Sarve. But if you just want that fresh citrusiness, then I, I still think the Versace Bright Crystal is a nice alternative, or even the Yellow Diamond from the Versace range, which is like a citrusy, mimosary version of it, um, if you want more of those citrus vibes. But I love Bright Crystal, I think it's so fresh, beautiful peony. So that's it guys, so that's some ideas about different alternatives. Let me know what you think would be good alternatives similar to the Dior perfumes. Let me know down below in the comments, you know, I do read them all and I love to see what you guys think, so let me know. Um, but that's it guys, so thanks so much for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!